I rushed right up to the Abdullah. And I said, Pam, I have my ticket for Barbados, but I've been on third last. I'm only elated and happy about it. He said, who told you that you're going to Barbados? And who told you that you went to Barbados third class? You went to Barbados and you went first class. But say no more. He is even happy that I'm going to Barbados now. So I went down on the morning of the 6th of December with my third class ticket. I went up to the desk as they're checking in the passengers and I put my ticket forward. He said, I've got good news for you, Mr. Goddard. Someone is cancelled and you're going first class. And I went first class all the way down to Barbados. Ten days down, ten days back, with three heavenly months in Barbados. So all that I did, I tried to the best of my ability with his, I would call almost insolence. He was rude. But he taught me by his rudeness that I cannot discuss how if I am doing what I'm supposed to do. He tells me right away, you are in Barbados. Like someone comes to you now, and you would apply this principle towards their request, and they say, oh, I would love to be happily married. And you say to them, or him, you are now happily married. They look at you as though you're insane. But that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You are now happily married. But if I am now happily married to a lady, I would instantly begin to feel that ring well in my imagination. I'd let others see that I have my ring, but that would imply I'm happily married to somebody ring. And so if I don't wear it from then on, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So in my imagination, I have to go to bed wearing my ring. 